Ooh. So I've been thinking lately. Um, uh, as you see, I'm wearing my uh, T-shirt from the organization that uh, was, was very influential in my life. I, I grew up. I, grew up, I guess so I, was, I was. I was made in the South Bronx of New York City, and there was a. Um, and when I was nine, I, I followed my older brother every place. He's like two and a half years old. So I, I place. He went to this um, uh, thing called the Cadet Corps at the North Presbyterian um, uh, Church there. Uh, it's called Mount Haven section of the Bronx. Anyway, and so I went. I followed him, of course. And it was the Cadet Corps, so he joined the Cadet Corps, and I did too. He eventually left, but I stayed. So from nine years old, not till I left this. Uh, so I left the city uh, when I was like 19. Um, yeah, so to 19, uh, but basically that was the organization I was in, um, the New York City Mission Society Cadet Corps. And um, around 1965, I guess I was 15, uh, there was a, a, I guess 1964, they started an, uh, a, a fraternity. Uh, it was an outgrowth of city because New York City Mission Society. Um, also had um, a thing called menacing. We just grew out of menacing because the Cadet Corps grew out of a menacing program, uh, which is in Harlem, still exists today, but so does the Cadet Corps. Um, and, but I could have, uh, so does the fraternity. Um, it still exists today. Um, uh, but back then, uh, they had an organization called the Feather. I think the Feather was founded in the 40s, 40s, like after the war of 1946, something like that. And so, um, they, because the Cadet Corps sort of moved away from menacing, uh, they had their own, they started their own fraternity in 64. So in 65, I pledged one was called a third line. And now uh, this fraternity, Penance uh, Grove Military Fraternity Town, I think they changed, I think it's called the Penance Organization now. Shortly after that, a couple of years after that, they started Penance Grove Sorority. Uh, uh, anyway, but the fraternity was founded by uh, uh, Wilbur E. Burgey. Uh, Bur Burgey, actually Burgey's brother, Irving Burgey, is a famous, uh, you know, Caribbean calypso singer. You know, in fact, it's very interesting. Uh, the the Cadet was was an amazing thing. I even um, I had no singing chops, as you may or may not know, but um, I was in the chorus there, and then we did a, a concert at uh, Town Hall. Uh, Irving, Bur uh, Irving Burgey and, and the Cadet Corps, well, Cadet Corps the, the, yeah, the Cadet Corps Choir. I was in the choir. They also had the uh, um, uh, the uh, Drum Bugle Corps, uh, which is pretty famous because that, that movie, um, uh, Richard Pryor movie, Bruce's Million, they're featured in there when they go to Yankee Stadium and get their band that's playing. Anyway, back to, let's make the story a little bit shorter. Um, the Cadet Corps was founded by Wilby Burgey, who was, uh, rather, the fraternity, well, he was. He was the head of the Cadet Corps. Also, he was uh, uh, founded. Um, he was a founding member, of the, the, the head, whatever. But the, let's put it this way: the fraternity is founded by like basically it's like six people. It's like Burgie, uh, uh, Ron Watson, Ronnie Watson, uh, James Cook. Uh, now, now Cook, I think he was the most influential one in the starting fraternity, making sure we had there. Um, Van Leggett, who was a total trip. He's like an ex-marine. Total trip, man. Like it. Uh, Roberto Chico Barrington. Uh, Roberto was like, my man, he's the one that taught me how to drive, you know, drive a car. Got my license. Actually, in New York City, to have a license at 18 was kind of weird, you know, you didn't get a license, but he taught me how to drive like that. And, uh, and Billy Clark. Uh, later, other people came in, uh, most no notably uh, um, uh, Jerry, Jerry Donaldson. Now, see, the fraternity, so like any other of those Greek fraternities, those kind of lettered fraternities, you know, a lot of hazing or whatever have you, the first two lines. The third line, uh, the line that I, you know, it was, uh, I think, our, our dean, that we had deans of lines, our dean was uh, Joe Darby. Anyway, the, <laughs> when, when, um, when Donaldson came in, he made it a more of a mental kind of thing. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, my line, the third line, there's only five of us made it <laughs> on the line. Uh, uh, we got, we got, we got the hazing as well as the mental thing, to, uh, like a perfect storm of both those things, you know. So it was like extraordinary. A lot of people pledged. It was very. It's like maybe, maybe like 50 people came out, and we built down to five. I mean, the first two lines were big lines. They were big guys too. And it, and it, doesn't matter. But the reason why I bring up the Pentecostal Military Fraternity is because, you know, we had like the, the, there was the undergraduate chapter, and then when we got older, it was uh, because they wanted to, we wanted to, uh, after you left the Cadet Corps, 
the cadet corps only went up to a certain age, like maybe 21 or something like that. Then there was basically a void. There was nothing for anybody older than 21. I know that Jerry Donaldson wanted them to do something um, beyond that. So what they did, we had the undergraduate chapter for people who were in the fraternity that were like younger, and then the graduate chapter people who had grew out of the cadet corps. Because part of the thing about the cadet corps was that they trained you. Uh, think of Motown when they took people out of the projects and trained them to be whatever. Well, we had this thing where they trained us to be. Uh, I think the the, the saying was uh, enter to learn, but this was at least for the. Um, for the entity to learn, go forth to serve. So we, everybody in the Cadet Corps, everybody in the fraternity, we were basically taught to serve, serve uh, the community. And at that time, I guess, serve black people. So I've been trained as a young person to serve black people. That's the whole thing, and it's, it's like ingrained. When you get that, that young age, from you know, nine years old, it, it doesn't leave you. So to this day, you know, a lot of the folks that, that came through that experience, uh, they, they serve. Anyway to make the story a little bit longer. Um, uh, and, and so, plus I'm sorry, I'd say I a lot of great people on like, like I know uh, 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 Trotman, this cat, is just, I'll never forget Trotman. We had this incredible summer program that was really amazing. I just want to mention Trotman's name because he's the one that said, you know, you know, Anthony, the, the, Harlem doesn't need uh, social workers. We need psychologists, psychiatrists, because you have to change your mind. And to this day, that, that resonates with me because our problems, yeah, they may be economic, whatever have you, but first you have to change your mind. That's the, that's the whole trick. You have a good mind, you know, then that's gonna get you a lot, a lot further back to the fraternity. Uh, so, 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 plus uh, Penn School is kind of interesting because, because we're a military fraternity, there's a lot of discipline involved. Um, and so that discipline, has never left me. Uh, and in this day and age, in the advent of what's happening in, in the world today, I think discipline is what you actually need. It's almost like a military discipline that you need so that you don't get distracted by, you know, by extraneous, extraneous things. And so, um, and so I'm, I'm grateful for that. I just want to say I'm grateful for my, my growing up in the South Bronx of New York City because, I mean, it's like the, the, the best this is the best, especially when it came came through, because we had everything. It's, it's really amazing. Uh, so anyway, so, so you have the pen. The, 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 and just to break it down a little bit more, pen chapter is like the, the, the living folks. When you pass on, you go to the scroll chapter. Um, so you know, so you never leave the journey. You know, you always, 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 always. Uh, but the the sad thing about the at least the, the fraternity or the cadet corps. Because we were very militant back in those, I mean, extremely militant, especially if I had a group one time where I'm under Trapp and man, man, these cats, boy, we, they were like the nine, nine-year-olds, and we had them singing revolutionary songs, it's like 1969, revolutionary songs, whatever have you, like, you know, Afros, you know, like Power and all that, so that stuff. But I heard, then I went into the, to the Air Force, but I heard somewhere like in 1970, 1971, well, somewhere in the early 70s, a Bergie got a visit from the FBI. You know, those, uh, well, the FBI, and they basically threatened him because, um, remember, all, there was a lot of organizations like this that were training young folks, young, especially black folks, downtrodden people, to assert themselves, to, 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 to I guess they were afraid that this, you know, Hoover and them were afraid that, and likely so, that uh, you know, that the country would be, well, there was rioting going on, they call it rioting, but rebellions in the city. So they were, this was like one of the courts because we were disciplined, we were focused, we had weekly meetings, you know, we had other organizations. So he got a trip and they, they scared the bejesus out of him. So he sort of shut down that whole political, that whole kind of thing. So it is what it is. Anyway, I just want to get that out there because in this age, this day and age, you have to change your mind, but you also have to have some discipline and don't get distracted by by what I call a hamster wheel thing where they, 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 they throw some stuff at you, you react to that. But, uh, no, you have to have your own military plan. You have your own, you have your agenda. You stay on your agenda. That's what I learned from the, from, from, from my experience at, 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 at Penn School, whatever have you. So I just want to give you all that for right now. Um, just felt like getting it out of my getting out of my system, especially in this day and age. Anyway, the, my system being from from me, T from the Patterson Technic Transit Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.